So we are just now leaving at about 3 o'clock and just now getting to the highway at about 3.25. But that is okay because the pumpkin patch stays open until 10 p.m. Therefore, we are going to be able to enjoy all the activities and events that is going on at the pumpkin patch. I am so geek, so geek. I got hungry. I'm not about to take this two hour drive. I needed some food, all right? So I got some Subway and a classic roll from Cinnabon. <laughs> got that tuna melt. So what we're doing right now, before we get to this orchard or pumpkin patch, is we're gonna hit the charging station because we're at 44 miles and, you know, just like with the gas car, you don't wanna find yourself below a quarter tank. So that's like a quarter tank, almost. I hope that wasn't no damn paid garage that we had to get in. It probably was a paid garage. Paid garage. Where is it at? Well, maybe not. And as a result of us deciding to hit the charging station now, we may get there just in time for sunset. Just in time for sunset. So we have finally made it to the pumpkin patch and the sun is going down. So I don't know if we're gonna get no good footage, but we are gonna try. I'm just geeked to be here. And I'm excited to try some fried donuts that my sister advised me to try. And we are gonna get it on. Let's go. Wait, how far do they have to walk? Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Teach me how to love. Show you the way to summon my heart. It's starting to look a lot like fall. I said, it's starting to look a lot like fall. It's beginning to look a lot like fall <laughs> pumpkins everywhere look there's a scarecrow and some candy corn and haunted houses plastered everywhere it's beginning to look a lot like fall but he said he ain't gonna get caught slipping so he got his scarf I'm definitely not gonna get caught slipping because fall, you never know. So I got my jacket with the fur. Jacket with the fur, with the fur. And the gloves with the fur, with the fur. And the scarf with the fur, with the fur. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing too much. But it's time to get out of here, all right? It's already 6.30. Yeah, almost. cause you excited. You was excited. We supposed to win three days ago. And then we- I'm not that excited. I got experience with pumpkin patches. Hmm. All right. Sure. Yeah, for you, baby. All right. For you. <laughs> sure. The whole club's looking at her. Come on. Now, how do you feel coming to your first pumpkin patch? <laughs> Amazing. I think we might have overdressed. Is is gonna be too high for all this? Oh, Next one, line, baby. Oh. Excuse me, sir. You know this big one here, right? I honestly don't know. You know so where it's at? Not? I know the corn maze closes at about well, dusk. Thank you. Cool, thanks. Yeah, I don't you know. You know where it's at? Is that way? Okay. So we are here. It looks like the maze right there. We are where? The maze is right there. Where are we? You said we are here. We somewhere. We're right here. So we need to go all the way over here. So we got to skip everything because what we're trying to do is get to the hayride or the maze. Those are the staple experiences of a pumpkin patch, all right? For us to get here during the sunlight.
they milking us with these cards. After paying to get in, you still gotta load them on to get in here. Ooh. I'm trying to scare her to see if I can get her. Ah. <laughs> I didn't get you, huh? This maze is weak though. This maze is weak because the, the, the lanes are wide and they're well defined. Okay. Mazes are supposed to be tricky. And they got this light there. That's a good reference point for you to know where your orientation is. So how long do you think it's going to take us to get out of here? It's already 643. What's the problem? You said you know how to get us out of here. I said what's the problem? What does 643 have to do with anything? We won't be in here for an hour. How long do you think we'll be here? Maybe another five, ten minutes. Go that way. We think this way is out. We went this way out. Told you it's weak. I have no clue where he is right now. See, every time we go on like a hike or something, he always find himself getting lost and, and, and not sticking on a course. Actually, I'm lost too. All right, Lavelle, come out now. You don't have to play anymore. He's playing too much. I'm ready to go. Lavelle! Lavelle! Lavelle, you can come out now. Alright, the fun is over. Where are you? Where are you? I'm over here on the other side. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready to go now. All right, y'all, so we found the exit of the corn maze. It was a long and arduous process, but we got it. Now it's time to continue on with the rest of the experience here at the Pumpkin Patch. Let's get it going. Now, what's that? So this is the only exit, but there are two different paths. This is the easy path, that's the hard path. If you guys want to take the hard path, I can get you guys started. The hard path out, out. Yes. This is the way out. This is the way out. But if we want to go on an extra crazy adventure, yeah. we could take this way. Yes. That's up to her. She's never been to a corn maze. So we can either we can either take the easy way out or we can take the extra crazy adventure way out. Which is three times longer. Three times longer, you said? Some people it takes like maybe up to an hour, but some it takes less. Like me, I took the harder path yesterday and it only took me like 20 minutes. And there's no map. No. It's a maze. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. I think that my wife is ready to get up out of, out of this corner. Man, I forgot this was LA because back home in Michigan, when I went to the pumpkin patch, it was super cold. And I got gloves, a scarf, and a jacket. It's way too hot. People are out here with t-shirts and shorts. I'm tripping, all right? How you liking it so far? It's Hi. delicious. Tender. Cheese is being overpowered by the barbecue sauce. But everything is cooked very well. Yeah, I'm enjoying mine too. I can smell the apple cider aroma. Let me get one of those. That was tasty. 
So we got a great idea for you guys. We're actually going to be jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. <laughs> so, okay, no we're not. My wife Paris, she says no. But I think it would be very fun if we actually made masks with pumpkins. And one of the reasons I came here was because I knew they would have pumpkins that are big enough to carve and actually use as legitimate masks. All right, so I think this one qualifies right here uh for your head <laughs> and i think this one would go for mine what do you think yeah i think that one would go for mine that's too small it has to be tall and wide enough this one might go i i'd like to look around and see if i can find some bigger ones but yeah this one's perfect i found the best one for me I got a little, a little bit of a long and skinny head, kind of a small, I think I'm like a seven and a half uh, size head. I think this one carved out right here with the eyes will be good. Huh. Let's see. I think I found the perfect one for your big ass head. <laughs> All right. One of these will go home so you gotta find the right one. Cause this one was the winner, but it, as you see, it's been bested out. All right. So this one is the original winner, but it's no longer in the running. Now we have A and B. Now I'm gonna see if I can find one better than either of these. One of these for sure is going home with us tonight. All right, I'll be back. All right, so we got the biggest two pumpkins we think can go over our head. It's time to get out of here, pay for these, and call it a day. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to Vlogtober episode number 14, all right? If you like videos like this, don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Peace out.